The Air Force repeatedly denied the existence of spacecraft and aliens, but mounting pressure from the public and a determined congressman forced the Pentagon to launch their own investigation. In July 1994, their official report admitted for the first time that the original weather balloon story was in fact a lie, designed to cover up what had really crashed at Roswell, a balloon of a different kind. This is film of Project Mogul, a top secret project designed to detect sound waves from the Soviet atomic tests. The Air Force report states that Project Mogul offers the most likely explanation for the Roswell incident. I suspect that our Flight 4 on the 4th of June was probably the source of the debris that the rancher found. It was not recovered, uh, and the record indicates that the B-17 abandoned tracking it uh, while it was still airborne, and it's my memory uh, that it was over a little town called Arabella, uh, just north of Capitan and about 17 miles from where some debris was later found. Curiously, an examination of the actual flight logs of the time reveals that there isn't any record of the existence of flight number four on the 4th of June. The one the Air Force claims explains the Roswell incident. Moore says no record exists and no data was entered for unsuccessful flights. Yet other flights that were unsuccessful are clearly documented. Discrepancies such as these have led many to doubt the Air Force's insistence that Project Mogul is in fact the answer to the Roswell mystery. On Capitol Hill, the representative for New Mexico, Congressman Stephen Schiff, is suspicious of the number of different explanations offered over the years. We've had three different explanations from the military about what crashed. The first explanation is it was a flying disc, meaning flying saucer in today's terminology. Uh, they changed that and said, we made a mistake. Uh, it wasn't uh, a flying disc, it was a weather balloon. I, I still find it amazing that the, that the United States top bomber wing, with the only wing that was eligible to carry nuclear weapons at that particular time, would not know a weather balloon from a flying saucer, but apparently somebody didn't. New Mexico is the most secret state in the Union. Historically, its deserts and skies have been the center for more highly classified and secret scientific projects than any other place on Earth. The suspicion is that some strange top secret military experiment could lie behind the Roswell mystery. Fifty years ago, the first atomic bomb was detonated in the Trinity test near White Sands. This summer, stealth warplanes were still on test flights in skies above New Mexico. And almost half a century earlier, their predecessor, the Flying Wing, was also seen in these skies. In 1947, Early missile technology with V-2 rockets captured from the Nazis were developed in White Sands. German scientists were brought here at the end of the war to develop the first stage of the space program. Werner von Braun, the inventor of the V-2, was in charge of the operation. It is known that animal experiments were part of the space program in the 1950s. But could there have been any as early as 1947? One series, uh, which was known as Project Albert, which uh, launched a, uh, a chimpanzee or a monkey, uh, a small monkey, uh, in one of the nose cones. Needless to say, the monkey didn't survive due to some technical difficulties with the nose cone in re-entering into the Earth's atmosphere. When was that? That was probably around the late, um, late 40s and the early 50s. And this was even before the famous ham, the space chimpanzee, which was trained uh, over at uh, the Alamogordo Air Force Base. Could it have been as early as 1947? Probably around 1947. I know that Project Albert began with, I believe, um, V2 number 47. Our investigation reveals for the first time that animal experiments may have been conducted much earlier than was previously thought. 
If so, could the Roswell incident have been some highly secret experiment that went catastrophically wrong? Is it possible that a V-2 rocket with animals on board could have gone astray and may account for the descriptions of bodies in strange debris offered by so many witnesses at Roswell? Could the metal found at the Foster Ranch have come from a crashed V-2? We have researched our records extensively and on that specific date and time and even that month uh, we had nothing that could conceivably uh, be within that area. We had been launching some balloons but nothing in that particular month when the crash at Roswell occurred and all of our uh, rockets that we did launch could be accounted for uh, during that time period and there was nothing that White Sands had available at that time that could reach that far over to Roswell. As far as White Sands is concerned, um, we're pretty clean on this incident. If the military authorities are to be believed, the records rule out the possibility of a crashed V-2. But the military admitted lying before to cover up something more secret. It is this possibility which leads many to believe that the cover-up continues. And according to Ray Santilli, the cameraman of the alleged alien autopsy seems to offer a tantalizing clue. They're not alien creatures as far as he's concerned. He just calls the creatures freaks all the time. He says they've got no reason to be here, and he says he doesn't know what they are. Our cameraman's a very religious guy. He just refuses to believe. And he was there at the time. He saw everything that happened, but he refuses to believe that these are extraterrestrials. He just says that, you know, it's just some goddamn experiment. And that's it. You know, he, he just calls them freaks. You have to remember, this is a cameraman that was there at White Sands, with the Trinity experiments as well. It appears that lots of weird and wonderful things happened at that time. As well as the autopsy, there is footage of strange debris allegedly recovered at the site of a crashed space vehicle. Whatever the Santilli film represents, there is no question that it demands serious investigation. These cryptic symbols bear some resemblance to actual letters V, I, D, E, O, video. Out of this world will continue on TLC.